Now the fourth area that I want to discuss is the fact that presentation does matter. The way you use your physical instrument, your body and your voice, really makes a difference in how you communicate. And it makes a difference wherever you communicate. It's not simply something that you need to focus on when you're up on a stage in front of a large group of people. If any of you go to those networking events, whether you're a member of a BNI or the TIP or any of the other networking events where you get a chance to stand up for 30 seconds and give an introduction about yourself, that 30 seconds can make a big difference in how everyone perceives you. So you should really focus on making sure your presentation skills are sharp and you have control of your physical instrument. Now there's three areas that I'll address quickly that matter in this area. One is to make sure your energy is present. Now I am sure with this group of people in New York, there's already a lot of energy, but one of the things you wanna make sure is that your energy is grounded. You don't want your energy to be just static. So one of the tips that I give my clients is actually to perform a grounding and energizing exercise before they get started. And you practice this a few times at home because once you know it, you're able to actually do this in the blink of an eye. So you could do this if it was your turn to get up in front of that BNI or networking group and to give your presentation, you could actually do this in the blink of an eye and be that much more present. And what it is is you actually, you plant your feet firmly on the ground and you imagine roots coming out of the bottom of your feet, digging for the energy of the earth. And however you visualize the energy of the earth is fine. It can be the center core, it can be 10 feet under the surface, wherever it is. But just let roots grow. And once you feel they've reached that source of energy, imagine those roots turning every color of the rainbow, every color you can imagine. Let them spread, let them grow. And then once you see them filled with all those colors, you just suck those colors back up into your body. And you find a place in your body you're going to let those colors swirl. It can be around your heart, it can be around your head, it can be in your fingertips. But what you want to do is actually have a physical place where you've placed that energy so that it's at your disposal at the moment you need it. And this way, when you're getting started to make a presentation, to speak in front of a group, or even to have a conversation, you're going to be that much more present. Breathing. We wouldn't be here if we weren't breathing. But breathing and speaking is particularly important because we are using our voices. But what ends up happening for a lot of people is they, they're breathing, whether it's because they're a little nervous or because they're tense. Their breathing very often becomes a little more shallow and their voice will go up into their throat. It becomes less pleasant to listen to. Your breathing and your voice centered at your core will make your voice much more resonant. It will make it louder, it'll make it more pleasant to the listener, which is something we all want to do. So I encourage people to look for breathing exercises. I have a few that I share with my clients, and if you come over to me later on and talk, I'd be happy to share a breathing exercise that shouldn't take too long to explain. But I'd like to move on to mindset, because this is the other area that a lot of people need to get over when it comes to speaking. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard that fear of public speaking is the number one fear, worse than fear of death. Jerry Seinfeld has that joke that people would rather be in the coffin than giving the eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something to that. It, it is the number one fear people have. And people have it for a lot of reasons. But there are things people can do because obviously the fear has come from something that's in the mind. So what you want to do is use your mindset to overcome whatever degree of fear you have. Now for some people the fear is paralyzing and there are certain techniques that we use in theater that build things to that level, to counterbalance that level of fear. But what I wanna share with you just quickly is a little thing that you can do the next time you get an opportunity, if you're ever asked to speak in front of a group and you're nervous about it, whatever that degree of nervousness is, just say yes because you can apply this mindset. All it is, is a gift exchange. All it is, is I'm offering information to you, and you're offering me your time to listen. That's all we're doing. And by reframing it as a gift exchange, it really changes the dynamic. I'm not up here trying to impose anything on you. You're not there just trying to take from me. And just think, the last time you gave a gift, 
Were you really worried about yourself? Were you worried about how your hair looked or whether you were standing right or anything like that? Or were you worried about, not worried, were you looking forward to seeing the reaction on the other person's face? You were looking forward to seeing a smile. You were looking forward to hearing a thank you. And if you can get that same mindset for talking, for speaking in public, it will really reframe for you the desire to do this. So those are basically four areas that I work with clients to really change how they approach public speaking. And within each, there's many, many more things that I can go through than I have time for today. And for the most part, most of my work is one-on-one -on -one with clients. But I want to reach more people the same way I know all of you. So I started to offer a group program. And that's what I want to share with you today. I'm sharing a program today with you called Steps to Speaking Success. And this is a program that's gonna take place over the phone, over the five weeks starting November 8th on Monday afternoons at two o'clock, but calls will be recorded, so if it's not convenient for your time, you don't have to worry. There will be four calls where we'll address issues of how you target your market, how you get your message targeted to that market, how you stand on stage, how you have better breath, what to do if fear jumps up, how you ground yourself. All those specifics we'll address during those four weeks. We'll also have one open group question and answer series. It'll be a call where people will be offered the chance to ask whatever questions they have about the program, if they face the challenge, if they really want specific answers. And don't worry if you can't make the call live, please email questions in and I'll be happy to address them on the call. But in addition, I think it is important to have that type of personal service, that type of personal assistance. So what I want to offer in addition to these group calls is for every participant in this program is a 25 minute message booster call privately with me to help you work on what your signature speech should be and how you can better deliver it. Plus thoughts about where you can deliver it, how to be more effective with it. Now the program has a value of $475, but that's not yet the whole program of course because we are in bonus city. <laughs> The first bonus is an audio recording called Fear Busters. And this is a recording which really goes into several techniques that can help people overcome fears. The second is an access to a library of articles I've read about all sorts of aspects about communication and connection. The third, I have a soon to be published book called Speak Louder Than Words and any participant in the program would be eligible for a 50% discount in the book. And fourth, I actually have compiled a list of actions, 79 communication actions. And anyone who registers for the program today will actually walk home with this. On the front are 79 actions that you can start to play with so you understand a bit more about how communication works for you. And on the back are three techniques that I have given to clients that helps them with visualization, grounding, and just getting a sense of greater success in the future. Now, the order forms have been passed out, I believe, and the program was selling for $249, and when I speak, it's offered for $169. But this is the more life, and we don't do things like anybody else. So what I'd like you to do is take your pen, out right now and put an X through the one. This is being offered today for $69. No, I'm not kidding. $69 because I want everybody in the room to have a chance to take action today. I think you can imagine that just with the value of a program of $604, just a call alone with somebody who can really work with you on communication is worth more than $69. Now, I would like to offer it for free, but there's a reason I'm not offering it for free. Probably like me, many of you have gotten free programs where you've downloaded videos or something like that. 
and you don't ever really use them. You put them in a file someplace. You want to take action with what you do. So what I've done is make it affordable for you, but I want you to have skin in the game. I want you to have some stake. So this $69 price, I think, makes it affordable for everybody. It should make it a no-brainer, even if you already feel you're comfortable with public speaking. It gives you an opportunity maybe to fine-tune some things, maybe to hear some tips that can help you even further. If you're not doing public speaking, this may be the jump start that takes your message and starts connecting with people in a rapid way that lets you find those clients, that lets you build your movement. I fell behind on my slot. <laughs> oh, there is one other option on the form. There may be some people, I don't understand why, but there may be some people in the room who are not planning to take the program. I don't want you to leave here empty-handed either. So there's a space on the form that says no. But I would like to offer you, in exchange for your name and your email, I have enough of these to give to everybody in the room. So I want everybody to walk out of here with at least this list of actions and these exercises. Because I think whether you work with me or not, whether you work with another public speaking coach, whether you join Toastmasters, whatever way you do it, I think these are important steps you can take. But I really know that what I have to offer you is coming from a place that's trying to support the type of work you want to do. I'm not trying just to create speakers. I am trying to help all of us reach more people and touch more people and make those changes in the world that the world needs so dramatically. So I really, I want you to take advantage of this. I want my calendar to be so filled with 25 minute calls that Louisa has to do all our Christmas shopping. <laughs> Are you up for that, Louisa? Oh, she's busy. Oh. Okay, I'll hire a virtual assistant, Vicky. <laughs> but right now, I just want you to spend one more time and imagine yourself. Imagine yourself weeks from now, months from now. Won't take a year. Imagine yourself getting out there taking advantage of the opportunity to share your message, reaching clients, finding people, finding that satisfaction of helping, maybe finding that one person who wouldn't have found you any other way. Just get out there, start speaking. Take advantage of every opportunity you have. Don't wait for the perfect opportunity. Don't wait until it's a room just of the right kind of clients, because maybe You'll be speaking before a group that doesn't seem to have the right kind of clients, and yet inside that audience, there's two people who desperately need what you have to offer. So please, go forward, speak louder than words. And as David and Suzanne start in their video, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. So don't underestimate what you can accomplish. Dr. King did. FDR did. Susan B. Anthony did. Mahatma Gandhi did. And none of you should either. Thank you very much.